Hey Aquarius placements, hope y'all are doing great. This is your upcoming weekly reading, okay? So take what resonates and leave the rest. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, we'll get into it. If there's any other placements that are popping up, you might want to check those this week as well, everywhere, okay? Get more insight and guidance. Let's see what, what do you have for Aquarius spirit. What's the end guidance from the season for which you will oracle, which we will read later. Thank you. I'm still wearing my retainers, so bear with. <laughs> it's still practice for me. I swear I didn't see that. <laughs> All right. Let's get some overall energy, timing, and identifier, please, from the monology. Maybe it's a sticky situation. That didn't want to shuffle. All right. Or it might be a little challenging. Difficult. Let's see. Your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. All right. Should I bring that one over here too? What is happening for Aquarius regarding this commitment that's being tested? Black Moon Lilith. Okay. Rebellion, seduction, and an affair. The other woman may have shame, envy, rejection, revenge, mystery, darkness, sexuality, and standing in your truth. Okay. So there could be an outside energy disrupting a flow is what I'm hearing. Okay. more you have already mastered this though this is something you've gone through before in this commitment okay and you have mastered it investment could be about money literally uh, this could just be an energy investment maybe you've invested in this commitment okay and nothing is going to get in the middle of it right I'm hearing the word trust. Ladder, climbing towards success. This could be in a work situation. Okay, this definitely could be in a work situation. Bag, something important such as a new job or raise. Oh, you could be competing with another for some kind of promotion. Okay. Or this could just be somebody, you know, at the office just, you know, gossiping to try and make you look bad or something. You're, just trust the situation. Your work will show for itself, okay? Don't let it catch you on a bad day. <laughs> kind of thing, right? All right. Skull. Hidden secrets can harm you. Okay, maybe you're going to find out this person's been secretly trying to sabotage your success. Okay. Ugh. Haystack, karma, you will reap what you have sown. So if you put this out, it's coming back. But if they're putting it out, it will come back. Okay. Again, trust. Okay. Trust, trust, trust. What else, spirit? Doing things a little different this time around. Play, 20, 5, and family. Okay, so maybe distract yourself with some fun with family at this time, okay? Or whoever you have has chosen family, okay? We have heart chakra, root chakra. Keep yourself stabilized. Stay in your heart space. And we have the throat chakra here with 24 listening, okay? Instead of speaking, listen, right? I'm getting... <laughs> oh, I... Okay, you know the phrase foot and mouth disease? Okay, I definitely think that's going to happen with this person. <clears throat> it's 
Spirit just showed me literally a foot in the mouth. <laughs> okay, so maybe I have to pay attention for that and not say anything. Let them let them run their mouth, right? <laughs> the literally foot in mouth. Okay. That was a split second visual right there. Okay. Balance. Stay balanced in this situation, okay? You know, maybe there's a little bit of humor in this. You know what I mean? Ancestors, call upon your ancestors for any guidance at this time, okay? Or maybe this situation reminds you of an ancestor. And how they responded might be a clue as to how you can work with it. Innocence, you definitely have that childlike innocent and play with it, all right? I'm getting the sense that this person might be just a little immature, okay? Just, just, just a little bit. <laughs> Like they, they're not all grown up. Okay. They're just, they, they have some growing to do. Okay. <laughs> all right. Endless regret, obsessive grief for playing the past, negative nostalgia. That could be an energy they're in as well. All right. Maybe they're trying to bring up your past as if you haven't changed. Right. That's in the bell three. Let me see if I can actually scooch one over here and get one more in here. You can achieve great things. And number four, raccoon, brother raccoon. I almost just said raccoon. Interesting. All right. A safe place for you to go. So maybe find some sanctuary at work, okay? Even if it's just the bathroom. <laughs> okay. Or outside somewhere. I'm seeing all those flowers. Maybe somewhere where there's flowers, okay? You need to excuse yourself when this person really wants to trigger you, okay? Anytime you're feeling triggered, go find some flowers, okay? All right. We also have the numbers 20 and 2, 20th or the 2nd, 5th and 5, 24th 20 and the 6th. February, March, and June, 36 and 9, and then the 9th, 7 the 7th, 4th and 4th, 4. So hard to talk with these things in my mouth. Okay. Uh, September, July, April as well. Those could be birth months. Maybe that's when they started working there. Whichever month it was. Tell me more, Spirit. Or courtship. Maybe it's somebody that just started working there. Four again. 26 and 8. And great fortune. 21, 3 and family. Okay, maybe this is somebody that knew we met your family. Maybe, uh, I don't know, let's bring your daughter to work day or something. Okay. But I'm also just seeing kind of have new experiences with your family at this time to kind of distract you from the stress of whatever this work situation is creating, okay? Because you are going to be tested by it. Okay, I'm not getting all these on the screen. Here we go. It's kind of a new angle for me to work. Yeah, they're going to come in with some deceptive communication here with letter and the seven of swords i'm getting a sense of giving grief but it's not true so again with the flowers ace of pentacles but you know it's going to turn out beautifully in your favor again foot and mouth disease right uh that could be a taurus virgo capricorn i am seeing Fours here a bunch. Okay. I mean, the fours are everywhere too. Um, and Virgo energy with the nines. I see two nines here as well. Okay. February's also here. You could be a February Aquarius. All right. All right. Is there anything else Aquarius needs to know regarding this situation? how they should respond to it. How else they can respond to it. 
Okay. Justice in the reverse. Okay, I'm hearing, don't do this. <laughs> Everything on this card, don't do this. Okay. <laughs> and I think you would already know. You've got to be fair and balanced. I get the sense you got to have to listen rather than speak. If you speak, maybe this is some things that you might have to be weary of. Injustice, dishonest, irresponsible, unfairness, bias, false accusations. And this could very much be just being aware of what this person's energy coming in on. Abuse, deceitful practices, negative karma, and lack of accountability, okay? So, be honest, be fair, right? Be responsible, <laughs> be open-minded, be patient, right? Think positively, take accountability, okay? All right, let's get your final guidance here. You have reindeer medicine, 28, breaks down to a 10. Keywords, inner strength, journeys, of fighting for your dreams. Journey into the depths of your soul and an awakening of sights revealed. It is time for no time at all, for all is presently here. Reindeer are hardy and majestic creatures. Unlike other animals, they are the only ones who keep their antlers all year round, all year long, carrying them like crowns atop their heads. That's right. Deer actually shake their horns off or their, um, their, yeah, their antlers off. I didn't know that reindeer actually keep them on. Interesting. Okay. Good to know. Learn something new every day, right? They've earned their right to feel like kings, but as the saying goes, heavy is the head that wears the crown. Reindeer make long migrations every year through the harsh conditions of the tundra. They face challenges after challenge, yet they prevail and even make friends along the way. Reindeer are known to be openly cheery and often form relationships with humans, despite the challenging conditions in which they live. This card asks you... What responsibilities are you willing to endure in the pursuit of your dreams? Goals take work, even with the cosmic forces behind you. You will still face challenges on your soul's path, no matter how aligned you are with your spirit. Reindeer medicine has come to you to tell you not to give up. The challenges you're facing now teach you how to be stronger and more resourceful and to find ways to face your fears rather than running from them. This is awesome, actually. I love it when spirit brings like these small, minuscule, minute energies into our, our purview, right? Just as sort of like tests of what we've gone through and how we can go and respond to it and how we naturally respond to it, how we intuitively respond to it. Whether or not it'll still trigger you when it happens, you'll know, right? And that'll just kind of show you how far you've come, right? Um, how far you've progressed in, in your journey and how much healing you've done, okay? Whatever it does trigger, though, um, that you happen to notice, you'd be like, oh, okay, I still have that fear over there. I should probably go work on that. Okay, I'll put a pin in that. That'll be on my to-do list tomorrow. Let's see how I can incorporate family and play in the mix, right, as far as the healing aspect of it, okay? Stay the course, for you are on the right path towards success. You may not see it now with the harsh conditions in your way, but you're so close to what you seek. Okay, there you go, Aquarius. Hopefully that helps. I'll see you next week already. Bye.